before we start this one, I just want to thank everybody that has followed my Christmas journey so far. Um, we've had quite a few recipes from mince pies, Wellington, Christmas starters, uh, your mince meat. Um, I'm hoping to get a couple more out as well. So thank you for following my Christmas journey. This is a brand new venture for me this year, so it's, it's great to have your support. Um, so please keep watching. I've got a really good one for you today. Uh, if you want to see more recipes, as always, subscribe to the channel and let's get cooking. Hi, I'm Emma with Really Simple Recipes and today I'm going to show you how to make some sausage rolls. So these sausage rolls, I am going to be using your Richmond meat-free sausages. Exactly what I used in the Wellington that I made. Absolutely love them sausages. Uh, we've got some onions, a little bit of sage, seasoning, so usual salt and pepper, and some puff pastry. Okay, so that's my onion peeled. So I want to finely dice this onion. I don't want it chunky at all. So I'm gonna show you a really good way to dice your onion. So what I've done, I've cut the tops off, but I've left the bottoms on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut all the way along this way first. So is that horizontally? Well, it is horizontally, so go all the way along the width. Go all the way as close to the root as you can, but you don't want to cut it off. And then what you want to do, you want to go down the edges, hold it together, like so. Keeping the distance as much as you can. And slide it down. Okay. So I've gone across that way, and I've gone across that way, one, two, three, four, about three or four times, and now I've gone that way across the onion. So all I need to do now is go this way, and that way I get a lovely, fine dice on my onion. It's not too chunky, which is what I want for this. And then your end, as you do anyway, just throw away the end of your onion. See there? I don't know if you can see how fine I've cut that onion out, which is what we want. We want a nice fine onion for this recipe. Okay. And then we'll do the same with the other one. So that is my onion, nicely diced up. And I'm just gonna get rid of the ends. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna brown off my onion. I'm gonna soften it a little bit. I don't want to cook it though, I just wanna soften it off. So I'm doing this my usual way, a little bit of water. I'm just gonna pop that into the pan. Okay. That's in the pan. Get away. No. And again, if you're using water like myself, just make sure you keep wet in the pan so it doesn't dry out so you don't want it to burn. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that. Put it to one side. And what we'll do while we'll waiting for that to soften up, we will prepare our sausages. So I'm going to be taking the casing off my sausages. It's what I did with my Wellington and it worked really well and it's really easy to do as well. And that way it's more like a, a sausage meat. Okay so my onion is done, I'm happy with that, it's nicely softened up so it's good. So I'm going to add this into the sausage meat, or should I say faux sausage meat. Just get it all in there. I'm going to add in there about a teaspoon of sage. So I'm going to judge it by eye, don't too much. Sage can be quite a strong flavour if you had too much. A little bit of salt and pepper. 
and then I'm going to get in there and mix it all together. I'm going to use my hands for this, it's going to be easier. Just be careful because your onion might still be a bit warm. All mixed up together. Okay, so there's my sausage meat all ready to go for my sausage rolls. So now we need to move on to our pastry. Before we start doing the pastry, we just need to pop our ovens on. So we're going to be popping it on a gas mark six. Okay, so I've got my ready rolled puff pastry sheets. Again, we want to keep it on the beautiful paper. Be very gentle with unwrapping it, especially as you get towards the end, it always gets a little bit more tricky. And what we're going to do is we're going to get your sausage meat. And we're just going to lay it onto the sheet. We go right to the ends. It's very sticky this stuff is like play-doh. Okay, right into the end. Make sure it's not it's got loads of meat in there, make sure it's nicely packed in. If you're going to do a sausage roll, do a sausage roll. Give people the meat. Well, the foam meat, should I say in this one, but foam meat is a lot better than meat. Make sure we get right to the end. We can actually just cut that off the end, it's not a problem. So there's my sausage meat all done. And what I'm going to do if I carry on, I'm going to have to wash my hands. <laughs> Sticky again. Okay, just get a bit of glaze around it. And again, this is your maple syrup and soy milk. Works really, really well for this. Okay, I'm just going to take that over without the grease proof all being well. I want to seal it in really, really well. Make sure it's all the way over. So, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a fork and I'm just going to seal it down with a fork around the edges. Okay, and all I'm going to do, because I don't want this much pastry in here, I'm just going to cut that off, like so. We'll make something else out of that, I think. I'll just pop that there for a second. And then what I'm going to do as well, I'll trim these ends up a little bit as well. That one's all right, I think. I'll just give it a trim, tidy it up. And then I'm just going to cut each one into sausage roll shapes. And so we're going all the way through. I want a little mini sausage rolls for these, you see. Here we go, go all the way through. This is really good because it's a really good way to wow your friends with vegan food that tastes really nice. Make sure we're all the way through on those cuts. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to do a little line on top, like so, just help it cook a bit more, 
like so. Oh, I've gone a bit little on the end. Okay, so I'm move that to one side. Let's pop that there a second. I'm get this onto my tray. And then I'm just going to wipe them off. And I'm just going to finish them off with my glaze. And don't worry if you've got really big holes on top of your sausage rolls, they will close up a bit as the pastry puffs up. Okay, so what we need to do now, uh, they're all ready to go, is pop them in the oven and we're looking to pop them in the oven for around 20 minutes, half an hour. And it's as simple as that, vegan sausage rolls made with Richmond meat-free sausages. And they look are delicious they look really nice so i've made mine quite chunky you could half your puff pastry and get two rows so you can get a lot more out of your sausage meat i hope you've enjoyed this one today it was a bit of a quick one a bit of a fun one um, it's another fantastic way to use those richmond meat free sausages if you haven't seen it already go and check out my wellington that's another way that i've used them it is a really good recipe a lovely one to use at christmas or with your sunday dinners if you have enjoyed it, do give me a like. And if you want to see more plant-based recipes or Christmas recipes, do subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any comments, questions, feedback, anything at all that you would like to ask me, maybe you want to ask about me, who I am, where I come from, so I don't really give much away, you can pop that below and I'm more than happy to get back to you. Thank you for watching.